going on, Quake fans? I'm Rachel Bonetta, and this is your 2015 preview for the San Jose Earthquakes. All right, 2015, brand new year, clean slate, and it's a good thing because the Quakes kind of need it. They've missed playoffs two years in a row, but before that, in 2012, they had one of the best seasons in MLS history. What happened? If I had any words of advice for these boys, I'd say shake, shake, shake it off. And I completely came up with that one on my own. Haters gonna hate. Here's what you need to know for this season. They're bringing back old coach Dominic Kinnear who coached the Quakes back in 2004 but has spent the last eight years with Houston. So far, he's done a pretty good job straightening this team back out. They just signed 25-year-old Innocent Emahara to a DP deal. The Nigerian-born Swiss international has experience in the top divisions in France, Italy, and Switzerland. He's super fast also, so you have been warned, MLS defenders. Look for Emahara to pair up with U.S. international Chris Wondolowski. Jason Zagini is here to tell us who else is going to be making that starting lineup, at least who he thinks is going to be. Despite seeing San Jose play a few times this preseason, it's really been tough to put my finger on how Dominic Kinnear is going to line his guys up at the beginning of the year. But the one thing I do know, the three designated players will be on the field one way or another. Shea Salinas, also a good bet to be out there. Now, questions on the other side. Could it be the youngster Tommy Thompson? Could it be Santa Niasi, Leandro Barrera? They have a lot of options here. But I'll tell you what I think might happen with that position as we look at the back line. The back line remains mostly the same. Marvell Wynn coming in there, but they were leaky last year and they have a first year goalkeeper in David Bingham now. So the question for me is, do they need more cover along with Pirazzi here? And I think the answer is yes. And what I could see is JJ Koval perhaps coming in here to offer a little bit more cover and then you see a change to a 4-2-3-1, something we see a lot of MLS teams playing with. This could be the way Kinnear lines it up. It's a little bit more conservative, but again, it keeps the designated players out there, and I think it would help out their back line. The Quakes are going to be moving into their brand new soccer-specific stadium this year, and I think it is going to make quite the difference. I mean, can you just take a look at this thing? If this does not spell clean slate, I'm not quite sure what does. Allow me to introduce to you Avaya Stadium. Coming in at over a cool $100 million to build, this state-of-the-art stadium holds 18,000 San Jose fans, and this could be the best part. Wait for it. It is the ultimate Wi-Fi hub. Oh yes. Avaya, the technology company whom the stadium is named after, is going to make it super easy to tweet and hit the gram from the stands. Oh yeah, and did I mention it's got the largest outdoor bar in North America. 45 beer taps and 3,647 square feet on that bad boy. Well, with a new stadium, a few new players on their roster, what do you guys think? Can Kinnear come back to San Jose and turn things around for the boys in blue? Well, unfortunately, you and I are going to have to wait, but apparently there are some MLS experts that think that they already know what's going to happen. Keyword being think here. Take a look at their 2015 MLS superlatives. San Jose Earthquakes, most improved team of 2015. Dom Kinnear, new stadium, it's obvious. The most improved team in 2015. A new stadium and a new coach who knows exactly what it takes to win in Major League Soccer, Dominic Kinnear. The team most likely to disappoint. Brand new stadium, returning hometown hero coach, but I think it's a year too soon for them. Most likely to have the first pick in next year's draft, but not because they played poorly, because they traded for it. Most likely to back their way into the playoffs. <laughs> most likely to have the most amount of red cards in 2015. San Jose Earthquakes. Most likely to give up the most goals this season. I really hope Clarence Goodson and Victor Bernardez can stay healthy. There is a lot to be excited about this year. How do you guys like the new stadium? How will San Jose fare in the end? You got any superlatives that we missed? Let us know in the comments. Stay with MLSsoccer.com all season for around the clock coverage and programming note, Friday and Sunday nights are your new nights to watch MLS on national television. Let me break it down for you, brah. Friday nights we got Unimas and UDN. Don't speak Spanish? No worries, me neither. All you have to do is use the SAP feature for English commentary. Then on Sunday we got ESPN, Fox Sports, and the Univision family of networks. You can tune in there for an MLS double or triple header. TSN or RDS in Canada. I think I just realized the true meaning of Sunday fun day. It's beautiful. Go to MLSsoccer.com slash TV for the full broadcast schedule and I will see you next time. Bye!